Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Record Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite albums ever. And that is Feral Saunders, Karma. I believe this was recorded and released in 1969. I, um was first introduced to this album probably the early 70s. I have two older brothers who were into jazz and um, my brother who um, actually had a room with, we had a, a Panasonic stereo with a turntable and he had this album in the early 70s, probably when I was around the you know fourth or fifth grade, that's when I was first introduced to this amazing record. So, Probably like, a, you know, you imagine a 12-year-old kid being into and vibing to this record. Well, that was me. Um, I remember it well. Um, like I said, I, I really was into this record at an early age. And it's amazing now because I can listen to it on a, a system that's 10 times as better than the one my brother uh, used to play uh, this album on. But... To give you a little background of this album, like I said, it was issued in 1969 and um, issued on Impulse Jazz Records. Um, and it was reissued recently, I think it was in 2000, maybe last year, 2022, um, by Analog Productions Acoustic Sounds, uh, Chad Kassam's company. And Chad Kassam made it clear that this album really wasn't uh his type of jazz but um he released it anyway because of um i guess he cares about his customers to be quite frank with you and i think that's pretty cool but this album you know this spiritual jazz free jazz album features um at least the first track the creator has a master plan it features feral saunders on tenor sax Leon Thomas vocals and percussion, Richard Davis, the great Richard Davis, a great jazz bassist, underrated jazz bassist, Richard Davis, Julius Watkins of French horn, James Spalding flute, Reggie Workman bass, the great Lonnie Liston Smith on piano, William Hart drums, Nathaniel Bettis also on uh, percussion. The first song, The Crater Has a Master Plan, the music was by Farrell Saunders and the um, the lyrics by Leon Thomas. On side two is a song called Colors. Farrell Saunders, tenor sax, Leon Thomas, vocals and percussion, Lyle Listen, Smith, piano, Frederick uh, Watts, or uh, Waits, I should say. Drums, Reggie Workman, bass, Ron Carter, bass on Colors. Julius Watkins, French horn. Music by Pharrell Saunders, lyrics by Leon Thomas. The song, The Creator Has a Master Plan, um, that touched me as a 12-year-old. I thought it was an amazing piece as a 12-year-old, and I think it's a spectacular piece at a 62-year-old, for a 62-year-old. It starts off very slow, very mellow, you know, um, Eventually, lyrics by Leon Thomas. By the way, Leon Thomas, his uh, vocals and yodeling throughout this record, especially on uh, The Creator Has a Master Plan, is just simply spectacular. It's a very good mix between the saxophone playing of Leon Thomas, um, the percussions, the, um, like I said, the yodeling and singing of Leon Thomas, the creator has a master plan. It's just a, an amazing and spectacular uh, piece of, to me, that is art, musical art at its peak form. This is, uh, like I said, I think a spiritual free jazz piece, but to me, it is spiritual jazz, uh, free form, creative, uh, free jazz at its peak peak in my opinion um i don't um know what was the motivation 
for the song the creator has a master plan i honestly don't i don't know if it was like i said this released in 1969 so it could have been what was going on in the world at that time in terms of the political issues or racial issues racial conflicts but this is the creator has a master plan is a very emotional at times especially in the middle when uh leon thomas um not leon thomas um Farrell Saunders plays his tenor sax. It is extremely aggressive. And it's extremely expressive. Like I said, along with the, the yodeling and singing Leon Thomas, the, the pup percussion, the band coming together and playing together simultaneously. Um, it is a very creative piece, very moving piece the creator has, uh, has a master plan. Like I said, very expressive. Um, it is um, emotional jazz. It, it you, you hear these uh, athletes say um, who play professional football and professional basketball. They say, "Oh, we left it all on the field. They gave it their all." Were these musicians on this album? These brothers on this album? They they must have left it all in the studio. I mean, it's just the creator has a master plan. Like I said, it's it's musical art at its peak in my opinion the second piece oh by the way the creator has a master pl plan continues it's so long it continues on side um two it's a long piece i believe on a cd it's all one piece i have this cd as well and um so it, it continues on side two but the the, the beautiful mix of the sax playing the yodeling of uh, Leon Thomas, all, you know, the, the bass player, the, the per especially the percussion. You hear the percussion fabulously on this uh, album, at least on my system in a three-dimensional space, the percussion playing. Um, you have a saxophone playing, uh, the vocals. Um, it, it's just spectacular. The, the song, Colors, which is a beautiful piece, and it's a nice contrast to the emotion, the drive, you know, the um, you know, the raw emotion of the creator has a master plan. They follow up with a beautiful piece with lyrics by Leon Thomas called Colors, which is fabulously uh, expressed by Leon Thomas in his vocals, and it is a wondrous. Uh, uh, direction that leon thomas takes us in the on the on the song colors and it's just like i said it's just the word that just comes to mind is beautiful for the uh song colors it's just a spectacular uh a piece of art as well also this came to my mind when i was listening to this record like i said this record has been part of my life i don't have the original pressing but i have a cd um it's been part of my life all my life and um you know how they do these Beatles sex uh box sets where they have these outtakes so you can get into the uh studio get a a glimpse in, in the creative process it would have been cool to have some outtakes on this one and some studio uh hear some studio sound from this one when they weren't recording because this thing is amazing. It may not be for everyone, this type of jazz. I'll leave the links to the songs in the description below. This type of jazz may not be for everyone. But I think I simply think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of jazz, in my opinion. If I were to rate this performance, I'd give it a 10, to be honest with you. That's the way I feel. Straight up, it gets a 10. Sound probably like an 8. Um, so, Farrah Saunders, Karma. Check it out. I'll leave the links in the description below. Amazing piece of uh, jazz art. Thank you for viewing my video. Please like, subscribe, leave your comments in the comment section below. God bless. Strong love. Peace to all.